Okay, so instead of writing those two if statements like we did here, uh, we can sort of make it a little bit simpler maybe, um, like this. We can use what's called if then else. But before we just said if then, and then end if we didn't have the else part here. But you're allowed to use else. So then you'll say what? If the score is greater than or equal to 60, we're going to make it pass. Else, and then we're going to make it uh, fail. So we don't have to write two if statements that in this way. Okay, in the last example, we used two if then blocks. The first tested whether the student passed. Second tested whether the student failed. The else statement allows binary selection of two processes. Binary means you can go either this condition versus every other condition. So if this is true, this executes. If it's not true, every other possible case, then this executes. Then block statements are executed if the condition is met, just like before. Otherwise, a set of statements in an else block are, are executed. So this set or this block. Okay, so it's if then else.